Nationwide, there are about 3.4 million people living with epilepsy. 470,000 of them are children, and one of them, a remarkable young man named Bryson Thompson. Bryson is a huge football fan, and while he looks up to the players on the field, this 11-year-old is inspiring people all over the country. In a sea of Berkeley blue and California gold, you would be hard-pressed to find a fan more focused on the Cal-Stanford game, the big game, than 11-year-old Bryson Thompson. Go, man! Go, man! Sitting with his family, Bryson rides the roller coaster of emotion with every offensive play, <laughs> defensive stand, and questionable call from the officials. Football is in his blood. His mom's dad, a longtime lineman with the New Orleans Saints. Bryson's dad, Aristotle Thompson, the running backs coach for Cal. I feel great when every single time Cal scores. Before every game, home or away, Aristotle gestures to the stands, his family doing the same. A reminder, family comes first. We have that as a, a symbol that, hey, we're with each other. Everything. Football is just our family. There's no, there's no other sport that will come before football with us. Football, also a source of healing for Bryson. Doctors diagnosed him with epilepsy when he was four. It came after he experienced a serious seizure. He was face down on the ground, and he had a 15-minute long grand mal seizure at that point and um, about two hours of unresponsive time after it. A grand mal seizure involves a loss of consciousness and violent muscle contractions. Some days, Bryson can experience hundreds of seizures. His parents, Aristotle and Sarah, have met with doctors all over the country seeking treatment. Their major focus now, helping Bryson live with the seizures while just enjoying being a kid. The level of strength that he shows on a daily basis you know, it amazes me, but also empowers me to want to do more for him and, and fight this battle for him. The resilient young man wears a helmet to protect his head. After insurance would not pay for the helmet, Bryson and his older brother Brock, when they were six and eight respectively, had an idea. Just giving back to people who are like Bryson, we don't want them to have to go through what we had to go through to get him a helmet. We just want to get it to them as fast as we can and help them out. The brothers created Helmets for Helmets, a foundation that raises money by auctioning off donated memorabilia, then buys and sends helmets to other kids with epilepsy. It started with a Drew Brees helmet, and over the next five years, a massive outpouring of generosity from pro athletes. We also got Peyton Manning a couple of months ago. The greatest of all time, Tom Brady. A Tom Brady. New England Patriots game ready helmet. I think it's the proudest moment as a parent that you can have is to, is to see your children helping others. The boys have raised enough money to send helmets to nearly 60 kids and some amazing experiences along the way. A couple weeks ago, they stood in the Saints tunnel as the team came out to face the Niners. Quarterback Jameis Winston came over to snap a photo. Somebody, I mean, here he is getting ready to go out and play a football game, you know, within the next few minutes. And he's like, how can I, you know, I see this kid here. Let me put a smile on his face. Okay, what about favorite player? Yeah. Jameis is cool, but no one tops Cal running back Jaden Ott for Bryson. Ott just wrapped up an impressive freshman season, and he's developed a special friendship with his biggest fan. He plays really great and I really like it. He sent me a message after uh, after our last game and and um, you know he was fighting some tears but he just wanted to make sure I'm all right and you know uh, I, I'm really appreciative of all the support that he gives. Bryson's become an inspiration for the Cal team and a reminder that no matter what personal battles you may be facing we can all be a light for others. It does give them a sense of okay you know what I do and what I am, I'm part of something bigger and I have a responsibility to, you know, act accordingly and give my all for those who can't. When you have somebody that you can touch and put a smile on their face, then you do so. Truly a remarkable family. Our thanks to the Thompsons and our digital producer, Bailey O'Carroll, for all their help with this story. If you want to learn more about how you can support Bryson and Helmets for Helmets, head to our website, ktvu.com.